everybody, welcome to day 51. Uh, we're in Leviticus, uh, the laws again, uh, the book of the laws, uh, different rituals and things that need to be done for purification, cleansing, and so on. Um, Leviticus chapters 12 through 14. So uh, today, very simple, uh, a lot more of the same, but let me kind of wrap it up for a second. Uh, two things. One, uh, the sevens. There's a whole bunch of sevens in here. And like I said, you know, start your list. And uh, you're probably going to, there's so many sevens, you'll probably forget to write certain things down. I'm sure I already have. Uh, but there's lots of sevens in here, just for an example, just to point out, hopefully you're starting to uh, catch these things. And the very first uh, uh, part of what we're reading in chapter 12, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. If a woman becomes pregnant and gives birth to a son, she will be ceremonially unclean for seven days. Seven days. And then throughout um, the whole book and... And what we're reading uh, for today, 12, 13, 14, there's a whole bunch of references to seven. Seven days for this to happen, and then another seven days for this. Okay, so you have uh, seven days for all these things to, to occur. And there are other days that are mentioned, but really seven is, is uh, predominant, uh, is dominant in all of what we're reading. Uh, then the last thing, and this will be it for today, um, purification, skin disease, and cleansing. That's what this was all about. Um and there's this assumption that if you're dirty, then you're sinful. No, 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 no. That's not what that, that means. Uh, real simple. You go to eat. You wash your hands. Um, your hands were dirty, so you wash your hands so you can eat. It's the same type of thing. You're going to go to the tabernacle. You've got to be clean. And there's certain things that say you're not clean. So that doesn't mean you're sinful. So we don't want to confuse dirty with sinful. So there wasn't anything wrong with childbirth. Uh, there wasn't anything, well, we're going to read, uh, you know, just human discharges, whether discharges whether it's male or female. It's still the same thing. You're dirty. You're not sinful. You're dirty. You got to get clean. And here's how you got to do it, what you got to do to get clean. Um, just picture this for a second. Jesus comes and he makes us right with God and the, the dirty part of us has been cleaned. Um, whether we sinned or not, the dirty part has been cleaned. Um, and then our sins are also forgiven. So that's the beautiful part about this in, in the Old Testament. God has made a way for our sins to be forgiven, and he's also telling us how to make ourselves clean. So that is day 51. I will see you tomorrow.